Let's take a very quick look at using the Sienna Remote Monitor with Avid Media Composer, in this case running inside AWS. So this is an Avid Media Composer 2019 running inside uh, Amazon Web Services. And as you can see, we've just got a little countdown on the timeline here. Um, now this works very nicely, but what we're missing really is our full-size, full-resolution confidence monitor of the, um, the Avid editorial system. So what we can do is we simply run the Sienna Remote Monitor server at the Avid end, and then we run the Remote Monitor client at the Mac or the PC that we're controlling with. So give it a couple of seconds. We can start this playing so we can see what's happening. Give them a couple of seconds to talk to one another. And lo and behold, we've got our local monitor. So this is kind of like a, uh, a remote desktop for video or a Teradici for video. It gives you a high quality video stream. And as you can see, when you scrub around inside the media composer, uh, the, um, the remote monitor is playing right behind. So if we hit play again, you can see the sort of latency. It's really a few frames behind basically. But this gives us our full quality confidence monitor for us to work with locally so we can really see what's going on when we're editing in the cloud. Now this can be a uh, full screen on a separate monitor or on a separate uh, system if you like. And what it also does is it outputs a local NDI stream. So if we want to, we can um, view it on an NDI monitor locally or we can output it through an NDI to SDI uh, adapter so we'll get a local SDI copy of what's being edited inside the AWS or Azure uh, cloud editorial system. Hope you like that. If you've got any questions, head over to sienna.tv. Thanks.